Welcome, Eivor. Lord, this has the looks of a Norse war camp. Plenty of stout-looking men. The fruits of your labors, Eivor. The kings you've helped have sent men and more as tribute. You have my thanks. Thank me later. A battle looms. <laughs> True enough. Your cousin awaits inside the tent of command. I'll soon follow to plan our next move. What's wrong with you? Eivor, look at me, part of Flan's war council. Not bad for a viking, good, eh? You have gained his trust? I wouldn't say that, no. He's a bit suspicious of me, in fact. But he needs my army, so he holds his nose. Of course he does. Vikings smell. My king, we are ready to deliver Alec a weighty blow. But our enemies are now alerted, and will rally in greater numbers. Cashelor Castle divides Ulster and Connacht. Taking it would isolate each from each. Cashelor is a stepping stone to all the north. It is an imposing fortress atop a steep cliff. It must be ours. But for that very reason, Lord, it will cost us dearly to storm it. Loss of men is a price well paid. Victory will bring many more flocking to our cause. Take care, King. Your ambition may overleap your reason. What is your counsel, Eivor? Cunning over courage. A single spy slips in and breaks the gate locks. Then our soldiers flood in. It is worth the attempt. You seem to have a feel for this, Eivor. I select you as this single spy. Eivor? It's a good challenge. We have a scout near the castle. She may be able to help you.
Hi, are you Flan Scout? You are a bold adventurer to ask in these parts. Yes, I am. How might I enter the castle? Alone. You can try to climb its walls. A foolhardy move for such a small force. Is there a way to enter unseen? There must be a path below. Builders down there have reinforced the walls. A wily Viking could use their equipment to find a way in. I am that Viking.
moment's pace. Could hide a lot. <sighs> Keep my wits with you. Bravely done, Avar. Cashelor will be ours. Avar, I have your back. I count on you, cousin. God won't let us lose. Flood, watch your flank. Thanks, Eivor. for the taking! Sack the castle! Gobwitch! Come <laughs> 
Watch your flank! God damn you! Follow my lead! Won't survive, fool! <laughs> Launch you to a battle well fought and blood well spilt to Ireland. Skull. Ah, is that another cup, my king. <laughs> Where's our court poet? This deserves a song. Eivor, it is essential that you speak with her. 
Kira, is she here? I greeted her arrival. She will build my glory throughout Ireland. Her song will be repeated in every village and hamlet. You, Eivor, with your keen eye, can give details of my bravery. The bravery of all my soldiers! For her to craft a ballad. I will give her your message, O oh brave king. Balith, you deserve another drink. <laughs> and you as well. Come back for another before the night is out. You sing with conviction. It is the mournful song of the Leofal, the ancient stone you saw at the coronation. That stone, it seemed to... it... The legend is that the stone will bring woe. But the song claims if Ireland came to peril, the stone would rain a storm of wonders. From where would the song draw this wisdom? I do not know, but my mother sang it. My mother's mother sang it as well. And her mother, and hers. Back to the very first woman of the isle. The mere sound of the words connects me to my ancestors and this fertile soil. You're lucky. I've left my land far behind. You need not leave to feel the land change beneath you. That's why I'm stuck in this court like some sort of dancing goat. Surely you can leave any time you wish. 
I can, and I will. But not until Flan rules all Ireland. Is he such a great man as that? He understands that to be king is to be king of all. Though I'm pagan, he made me court poet. He respects the old ways. I admire your passion. Thank you for that. Not everyone is so appreciative. I appreciate you for all your qualities, Kira. I've got more than a fine voice for singing, if that's what you're asking. Is that what you're asking? I'm asking if you'd like to take advantage of a Norse who finds himself alone with a bewitching Irish woman. Ara, don't you have a way with words, Eivor? And I'm not saying never. I understand. I all but forgot. Flan sent me to remind you to begin his ballad. <laughs> he needn't worry. I know my purpose here. If it is as glorious as that song was lovely, Flan is certain to gain many followers. Good night, Eivor. I'll see you in the morning. Slan. Good night, Kira. Beautiful morning. Ah, oh, Barith asked me to return to him last night. I should apologize. your account. Come, the army has been poisoned. Curse of Loki. Speak, Harson! Who? Th that's the man, my king! You accuse Barris? Uh, it's him what gave me the poison. Seven silver he paid. Huh. The king of Dublin. M my king, I... I... Only the Irish were poisoned. Your deans are hale and hearty. My lord. Flattering words and servile gifts. All to mask treachery. My lord, you know this cannot be true. Danes don't use poison, and Barath is no man of guile. My king, it was him. He says to me, poison the feckin' Irish, he says. He, he, he threatened me life. Silence! Ah! Oh. Take this man away. No, 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 no. I do nothing! Kira, I chose to place you at my right hand because you see clear. Still, I cannot trust this Dublin Dane. My king, I have faithfully served you. Trust him better, Lord. I said silence. Danes often fight for either side. <sighs> Barth, stay within these castle walls while I consider your position. I must first find care for my soldiers. You well know, my king. I have a friend who can heal most any malady. Ah. One of your scattered coven of forest-dwelling pagans. Let me speak with her. She'll find a cure. Ara, go. Take a soldier with you for protection. I choose you as my soldier. Meet me at the stables near the front gate. Boreth, you should be grateful your head is still upon your shoulders. I am. By the gods, I am. <laughs> 